Hi guys, so today I'm just going to do a small little haul for you guys. Um, I went shopping today, and I got a few things. Um, I stocked up on some stuff I needed or wanted to replenish, and I got some new stuff to try. So, the first part I'm going to do is Target, and then the next part will be Marshalls. So, from Target, I got a pack of these a while ago, and I tried them out, and they really worked. And I had a giant one, like, right here. Yeah, right here. And I used it for, like, a couple of times. And it worked real well. And I'm still working on these. Um, so I got a couple more of the smaller packs. Because you get uh, 12 for 7 bucks. So I got both of these for 7 bucks each. And then... I've been trying to find a good sunscreen that won't irritate my skin, and every sunscreen I've tried, or any moisturizer that has sunscreen in it that I've tried, has irritated my skin. So I got the Bliss. Now this is a travel size. This is where, also, where I got the acne patches. So it's a little tiny bottle. Um, it's only point four. I figured this would give me just enough to see and test it out for like a week and um see if it irritates my skin and if it doesn't this could be something I could get in a full size it's at 30 which I wish there was a little bit more because I'm so fair but it's okay um it's a minimal sunscreen stuff and I've heard from a lot of people this is a really good one this was $6.99 the other one and the last product from um Target was this native sunscreen. This one says face lotion, so I'll just have to play around with it. This is also 30. This is 1.7. They did have a 5 one, um, 5 fluid ounce. That was uh, about $19.99. This was $15.99. So I know it was smarter to go with the other one because you get more, but just to try it out for now, and then I'll eventually go for that one. Um, I decided to try this just to see, I got, um, I, I didn't haul it for you guys, um, because I haven't really been filming, but this is what that looks like, so it's a little pump, um, I got a face wash from them, that was, the, everything was basically about 20 bucks, and then I got a C serum, and I got, the moisturizer and this basically I got in the vanilla coconut scent I got the um, face wash and the lotion and then I got the vitamin C version for the serum so that's what I got from that so that goes there um, so the Marshalls I needed to get some more setting sprays as you will see in a later video, um, I'm down to one little setting spray that's like half gone. So I did need to get some new setting sprays to try. So I figured I can check them out. Because I also wanted to go there. I've been using the Evon spray as part of my skincare routine. And it's been really good. I don't use it every day. I only use it when I think I need it. Or for a little bit extra moisture. So that's what I do. So... It's like 8 bucks for like the 10.1 fluid ounce at Marshalls compared to like 20 bucks anywhere else. So they only had two at my store, so I bought both of them. Um, again, these are 8 bucks for the 10.1, and I love this. So I'm going to keep trying to find it there. If for some reason I need it and I can't find it at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, I've been finding these at Marshalls. Um, I will go to Ulta or something and buy it from them, but my prefer would be there because it's a lot cheaper. So I got those. And then the other thing, like I said, I needed some setting sprays. I got one that I kind of wish I didn't get now because I can't repurchase if I end up liking it. But it's the Becca Skin Love. It says Glow Shield Prime and Set Mist. Um, it's this one. So this was 10 bucks for... Uh, 2.3 it's alcohol free 
Um, I'm assuming this is a full size. Looks like that. It does not have... This says it lasts for 24 months. Um, it's hydrate and stuff like that, so that's good. Um, but I do not see an expiration date on this, so I just, like I said, screw it. It's pretty cheap. Didn't have many. I wanted other ones, so I got this. The other one I got, this was 6 bucks. This is Hydrating Setting Spray from BH to Paradise Set. Um, again, they didn't have the one I wanted. I was seeing, I've been watching and, like, looking on Instagram and stuff, a lot of Marshall's finds. And the one I really like is the, I think, Illuminize Cover Effects one. And they didn't have that in my Marshalls today, so, or any Cover Effects ones. So I just ended up picking up these because these are all they had. And basically, I bought every single one they had. Um, looks like this. And this is 12 months, and this is a 3.3. So you get more than this and more than my other one for like a lot cheaper so i got that one and then the last setting spray i got was max fix plus this was 10 bucks for the small size and this is one fluid ounce i figured i've never tried this i've heard great things about this like even to um like wet your brush to like more impact on your shadows so i figured i would try this out and if i start liking it i can always get um more from like Ulta and stuff I can add that into my expenses but got the little baby size pot it, this was kind of a little bit I would say like a waste of money because <laughs> this is normally like 16 bucks so you only save like six bucks and you don't get that much but I figured I would try it and then the last two things from Ulta that or Ulta oh my gosh Marshalls that I bought was for seven bucks a piece and this was another thing i was hoping to find there was a lot of stuff i was hoping to find my store didn't have them um it's the stila convertible color lip and cheek duos in these two shades i was hoping to find a fenty but my store had the really bright colors that i didn't feel like i would use and they did have open ones and there was like a stila camouflage palette that was like one shade completely busted out of it. So I just didn't worry about it. It was no sense of wasting my money. So the first one is in Magnolia. And it looks like this. I've been really oops, I should drop it. Loving Stila palettes and everything. Um their primer is super good. So it's Marc Jacobs. I was hoping to find the fine grind palette. Did not find that. Kinda sad. Um this one looks like this do a little swatch don't know how much I just got but okay hold on <laughs> let me just get a little bit more not to be afraid but I felt I looked these up because I did see a lot of people were finding these in their store so that's what that shade looks like and I want to try cream blush so I was like like stealing might as well try these out I know these are normally 25 bucks so that was a pretty good deal. And then this one I was super curious about. Is it Gerbera? I'm assuming. It looks like. If it comes out of the package. This. So that's like a little muted moth. This one has bumps in it. You can tell. The other one was smooth as you can tell. So I don't know what's going on with this one. It doesn't have an expiration date. So I'll just be gentle it looks like just bubbles like it didn't get pressed right or something and so this one looks like this this is like a pinky I'll go over that again um full wash shade so I feel like these are really two good shades I could almost maybe even use this one as a bronzer maybe or a contour. We'll just kind of like play around and see how that works. Um, not me. Because I did just kind of 
I'm gonna kind of blend that one out. Just kind of see because that is a little bit of like a darker, like nudie sheen. So I could see that looking good on me. Okay, now they don't look too bad. See, that could be a really good bronzer on my skin, and this is a really cool bar. Um, let me use the finger I kind of just watch with this. It's just kind of, I'm just doing like this. Just kind of like trying to blend it out a little bit. Yeah, those would be pretty together, like one as a blush and one as a bronzer. Or a contour. Looks super pretty. So, that was my little haul. This was a little bit longer than I was expecting. Um, but yeah. Just wanted to up show you guys do a video because I know I don't really do into me videos lately. Um, I'm planning on. I would like to do like a first impressions trial test of products for you. It's just I can't film during the day usually, so that's a problem. But we'll see. Um, I'll keep doing what I can. Um, we will be having an update. I'll probably do an update here soon. I'm also planning for my project plan, even though I uh, have not really been playing with makeup too much lately. And I'm planning on doing a declutter here soon, so let me know down below what you would like to see. Um, also, let me know if you would love to see a updated skincare um, video. I have been really perfecting. There is one product that I will finish using, but I'm not going to repurchase the version I have. I'm going to repurchase a different version, but that is something I can totally do for you guys too. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.